Chancellor, Dr. T. Tyagarajan, to the helm of our illustrious institution. I now invite the Dean Academics, Dr. Naimullah Khan, to deliver the welcome address. It is with great pleasure and honor that we gather here today to extend a warm welcome and heartfelt congratulations to our esteemed new Pro Vice Chancellor, Dr. T. Tyagarajan, as he takes charge of the institution. As we embark on this new chapter under his leadership, we are filled with anticipation and excitement for the transformative journey ahead. Dr. T. Tyagarajan brings with him a wealth of experience, wisdom, and vision that will undoubtedly guide us towards greater heights of excellence and achievement. His dedication to academic integrity, innovation, resonates with deeply with our values, and we are confident that under his leadership, we will inspire, he will inspire us all to strive for excellence in his endeavors, in our endeavors. I'll briefly list out his achievements. It's a long list, but I'll make it brief. Dr. Tyagarajan obtained his PhD in Intelligent Control from Anna University, Chennai, with National Science Council Fellowship, Republic of China. He went to Republic of China and pursues his postdoctoral research, working in auto-tuning at the National Taiwan University, ranked 66th in the QS rankings. He underwent training in USA and UK and the QIP and Erasmus Plus project. He authored and co-authored four textbooks with Francis, Taylor Francis, Narosa, Science Tech, etc. He is one of the icons in the field of auto-tuning and soft computing. He has published over 110 research papers in journals and conferences and guided 16 PhDs. He has secured R&D funding over 1.15 crores from various government agencies such as DST, DIT, QIP and UGC. He played a significant role in developing four prototypes on automatic external defibrillator, anti-biogram device, micropurpose robo and advanced process controller. He has one patent granted and another under FER. He has organized conferences, national and international. On, he's very well known for, especially at QAT, for outcome based pedagogy, soft skills development, quality assurance. He was youngest chairman of IEEE Madras section, founder chairman of IEEE Control System Society. Please join me in a round of applause to welcome and honor our all. In this esteemed gathering, I have the privilege to extend a cordial invitation to our Pro Vice Chancellor, Dr. T. Tyagarajan, to felicitate our Honorable Founder Chancellor, Dr. G. Vishwanathan, and our Vice Presidents. services to the Anna University and bringing laurels and credits to the Anna University. I have been personally associated with him in the University Industry Interaction Center which was established there and in formulating the norms, guidelines and so on. 
And then I was also associated with two times their NAC accreditation as a chairman of the committees that were there to do that. And I can go on narrating that including the NBA and the research awards committees and so on and so forth. But what I would like to say is that he is a person, a taskmaster, without really putting pressure on the people, getting the team built from within and trying to get the task done by leading from the front. He never used to really dominate anybody, but you will see him doing the work from the front, unmindful of time. You will see him working even in midnight and in many of the occasions, I had occasions to observe that. And when something is suggested to him, he has always taken them on priority and saw to that it is fullest extent implemented. That is the kind of a person that the Tyagarajan is. So when I came to know that he has been rightly chosen as the pro vice chancellor of the Chennai campus of VIT, out of heart, I was extremely delighted that he is going to be here and I will also have the pleasure and honor of working with him in this particular campus. We should be able to really get the best out of these faculty here, the deans, the directors, whoever is here, they are all highly disciplined, workaholic people, unmindful of time as well. I am thankful that we are able to have Dr. Shankar also as Vice President of this, for this particular function. Thank you all very much. Thank you, sir. A man of few words, Dr. G. V. Selvam, believes in and lives by the percept. Actions speak louder than words. I now invite our respected Vice President, Dr. G. V. Selvam, to deliver the felicitation address. I'd like to welcome Dr. Tyagarajan to VAT Big Family. It's not an institution, it's a family. I welcome you, sir, to the family. <laughs> While entering this auditorium, I was remembering our 2009 10. 2009, we conducted the interview in Annanagar office. Then 10, May 3rd, we shifted to Crisp IT Park. In fact, so many people asked, what's VAT Chennai address? We are saying VAT Chennai campus next to VAT Crisp, uh, sorry, Crisp IT Park. Now, the address has been changed. All real estate companies are saying, so the company just opposite VAT Chennai, no more address. So VAT Chennai has created a landmark. That's the address itself. We started with small numbers, 5 UG program, 3 PG program. Do you know how many FAPIC faculties were in the first list? Sorry. Around 47 plus 16 non-teaching. Can you please raise up all 47 plus 16 non-teaching here, present here in the hall, first batch? Always we are thankful. We started with around 5 lakh square feet. Actually, we planned for 14 lakh square feet. In the first year, we had only 4 to 5 lakh square feet. We started with only 5 buses. Now we have more than 100 buses. <laughs> we had only 400 plus students. In fact, in 2010, I had a heated conversation with Chancellor. Because admission eligibility out of this BT entrance exam, 2 lakhs students appear, they should get 1 lakh. But students admitted in Chennai campus were below 50,000. So many tourist students were admitted. The seed on that day so now we are getting the fruits. Because of the many tourist students, always we have to thank the Chancellor for accepting our request. Many of us are seeing that photo paste in the admit building with a black and white master photo. Now it has been changed color. That's true. That black and white has changed to color. That dream has come true. All 
always mother will be happy by seeing his child growing. Velur is happy seeing me eat it. Chennai parents used to ask me, what's the difference between Chennai and Velur? I used to say, if you want to put in hostel, put in Velur, they call him this Chennai. No difference. <laughs> Only the area size is difference. Nothing is there. So students are happy, parents are happy because of the faculty. That's important. Last week, there's a new item about MIT. 75 years completed. MIT founder, Mr. Rajan, started in 1949. Our chancellor has sold many properties <laughs> to start VIT. Yes, as soon as you do VIT and MIT. Always he used to talk about 300 years, 400 years. Yes, VIT is like a banyan tree. It's not like other tree. It will grow for 300, 400 years. And so many trees will grow like other campuses and other universities. Yes, we are sure, Chancellor, that on behalf of VAT family, it will grow like a banyan tree. Maybe in soon, VAT will produce a Nobel laureate. Yet it will happen. Soon it will happen. Again, once again, I congratulate Professor Tyagarajan as Provisi of VAT Chennai. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Dr. Shekha Vishwanathan epitomizes the vision, vibrant spirit, and energy. Few months ago, we, we got one gem named as Tyagarajan. We, today, we are getting another gem named as Tyagarajan. I don't know what the name Rafi between VIT Chennai and Tyagarajan. A lot of sacrifices have been done as was enumerated. So, we welcome you with a, a folded hands to this uh, wonderful campus, VIT Chennai. Um, <coughs> A lot has been already mentioned about uh, VIT Chennai. I thought this will be an opportunity for us to mention a few more uh, points. Uh, I, I saw your background in not just academics, but it's also in research and administration, which is a wonderful combination. You have taken posts in all the areas, whether it's placements, accreditation, policy making, as a department head, dean, so your rich experience, I'm sure, will be very vastly useful uh, for all of us here at uh, VIT Chennai. Uh, the best part about VIT Chennai is the people. We have some of the best talent sitting right here. Because of this talent only, we are able to move really forward. Now, if you look at the faculty profile, uh, there are wonderful people uh, who are uh, here with us. I'm, I'm sure under your able leadership, we can go leaps and bounds uh, to cross many boundaries and reach the top and add to uh, the VIT the, uh, contributions. And some of the current priorities which we are focusing on, which is in, up in your alley, is, you know, we are going for the NBA accreditation. And I, I see in your resume that you have been an expert in accreditation and you have already helped in uh, VIT Chennai getting accreditation from NAC. And we are also working on improving our NIRF ranking. And uh, we are in the process of recruiting even more reputed faculty, internationally reputed faculty to add to our uh, faculty profile. And uh, our faculty have been working hard, but I think uh, the research output, there's a lot of scope for improving. Right now, I think uh, it's about 1.6 publications uh, per faculty per year, but you know, our target is to achieve four uh, per year. And I'm sure we are all geared up for uh, such an achievement and for which we require a lot more research scholars also. The number uh, and quality of research scholars we are working on improving. I'm sure we can come up with some good ideas to increase. And I also noticed that you are good at pedagogy. Uh, the, so we, we have a good uh, center for faculty development. We, we need to enhance it further so that we can uh, come up with great ideas for training our faculty every day. And the other area which we are looking at is the sponsored research. I am sure our team 
and the all the deans are working hard. Uh, the recent years have been excellent. You know, we have seen a sudden growth, but we need to go a lot further in uh, sponsored research and industry consultancy, which uh, which I think has a lot of scope. Being in the middle of IT sector and the automotive sector, our location has unique advantages, and I'm, I'm sure uh, we can grow even further. And these days, we are also focused on non-engineering programs because, as you know, when somebody says VIT, only engineering comes to mind. So the other schools like law school, business school, fashion school, now we are starting economics, psychology. Uh, they are right now under a big banyan tree, so they are not growing that fast. I'm sure under your able leadership, we can grow not only in engineering, but in the other areas uh, where we can, we have a lot of uh, scope to excel, where we can diversify and grow. And uh, the industry engagement has been good, but we have a long way to go. You know, we need to appoint more professors of practice, you know, uh, get more industry uh, projects, etc. So I can go on and on, but you know, the uh, point is I don't want to overload you on day one, but I, I just w want to give a glimpse of the potential. We have a lot of potential here. All we need is uh, an able leader like you to uh, take us forward and make sure uh, we reach the top as per Chancellor's vision. We reach the top 100, not even 200, top 100 of the world. I'm sure it is possible. Thank you. We, we wish you all the best. Welcome. Thank you, sir. I now request our Vice President, Mr. Shankar Vishwanathan, to address the gathering. I welcome to new Tyagaraja, not old Tyagaraja. <laughs> I mean, old Tyagaraja, old Ra, he is new, new Tyagaraja. Already mentioned all VPs. We want to become your number one in the Chennai campus and beat Velour campus also. <laughs> but already in day we are beating the Velour campus. Do you know? If you compare it in the doctorate faculty, number one in the Chennai. <laughs> and already one beat from Velour to Chennai in Bhopal. Do you know? Number one in Bobal, 100% doctorate faculty. <laughs> I think some faculty still doing the doctorate program, maybe a Thabuman. Where is Thabuman? He's acting, huh? <laughs> I think some faculty also still doing, I think, from law department, uh, I think. So I want to make sure 100% doctorate faculty and you can come become here, yeah, number one in the VAT group of. Anyway, all the best on uh, uh, Dr. Chagarin, all the best. We, we have a lot of experience. Last 20 years he was working in the Anna University. So you can use, okay, all the best. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I now request our Pro Vice Chancellor to felicitate our Vice President, Mr. Shankar Vishwanathan, with a bouquet and a shawl. I now invite the visionary leader of our esteemed institution, our beloved founder chancellor of VIT, an institution by himself, Dr. G. Vishwanathan, to deliver the presidential address. Vice Presidents, Mr. Shankar Vishwanathan, Dr. Shankar Vishwanathan, Dr. Selvam, the new Provost Chancellor, Dr. T. Akarajan, our advisor, Dr. S. P. Tyagarajan, additional professor, dean academics, other deans, directors, and other professors, very good morning to you. I am so happy that uh, Dr. Tyagarajan has accepted an invitation to be appointed as Provost Chancellor with a vast experience of more than 30 years in the Anna University and the MIT campus. As it was pointed out by our Vice Presidents, 
Now, Chennai campus has completed 14 years. Of course, as an institution, we have completed 40 years. The growth of Chennai campus is amazing. Already, I think we are nearing 20,000 students here. And um, now, Dr. Yagarajan is going to take charge in the, of the campus. And uh, I always require that Vellur and Chennai should collaborate, cooperate, and also compete. I want a healthy competition between Vellur and Chennai. Of course, you people have an advantage, the Chennai people, because you are located in the capital. And um, in fact, I, I see a lot of transfer petitions among teachers. Of course, that's due to mainly either the spouses working here or the parents living here, etc. And the uh, important thing is that all the industries are located here. That's the biggest advantage you have, so that you can have industry collaboration. Of course, the Lourdes advantage is it is equal distance between Bangalore and uh, Chennai. So we, uh, we can have contact with both Chennai as well as Bangalore. And uh, of course, cost of living is comparatively lesser in Vellore than in Chennai. So you will have to spend more here. If you have, that's why you are paid something extra also in the uh, house rent allowances, etc. As far as um, academics concerned, I think there should be a competition. And uh, in fact, my slogan has been always that from VIT to IIT, IIT to MIT. I think now we have overtaken many of the IITs and uh, there are only few senior IITs who are comparable to us. And uh, in fact, in the publications, we have overtaken even all the IITs. Only thing is, in quality-wise, some of them are above us. I think it is time now that we compete with them. And uh, I always strongly feel that any institution's future depends on teachers. An efficient, committed, hard-working teachers can make any institution a great institution. That's what we expect from you. And uh, Dr. Thyagarajan is going to be here to guide you. In fact, the other day we saw that uh, more than 200 of them have not published. And uh, I would very much like all the seniors, the deans and other senior professors to take charge of it, uh, help them to uh, go for publications and patents. Not only that Thyagarajan is good in teaching, he has been a very good researcher. He has got his own publications and patents also. So it will be very useful for us to get the guidance from him so that this campus also comes up both in uh, publications as well as patents. Nowadays it is very much required when you especially want to go for a ranking uh, within the country or outside the country. Now it's a competitive world and uh, everybody wants to compete and we have to be there. Our, our uh, advantage or disadvantage is more number of students because many of the IITs have small number. They will have 5,000, 6,000 students. I think maximum they have about 10,000. Uh, uh, all of them are lesser than that. And uh, state universities are still lesser. They don't admit many students at all. That's an advantage, but I strongly feel that this country, being a big country, and especially when we want to increase the gross enrollment ratio, we should go for quantity as well as quality. That would be the real test for us. We should have more students and also at the same time, the quality of our student must be better than many other institutions. We want to have comparison with uh, universities in the West, especially US and Europe. And we have a number of uh, collaborations also. I would very much like you to take the advice or guidance from others also so that we will be competing with them. See, our country is a growing nation. 
It's a developing country. We should be able to work more uh, compared to the others so that we will also be able to compete with them. We cannot be working like the Americans or Europeans so the, because that distance will always remain, the gap will remain. I want all of this, not only for us, for all the countrymen, the entire uh, country of India, we should work hard, we should work more so that we will also be able to compete with them because we are far behind in the economic prosperity, we are far behind the advanced countries. And only education can make a country prosperous. This must be known to everybody, but somehow the importance to education is not being given. I hope in the future it will be changed so that this country can also compete with the advanced nations. And we can also become like a Western Europe or US. Uh, in uh, per capita income as well as GDP, etc. These are all the basis for economic development is education. And I want VIT to be a model yeah, in the forefront of educational institutions in the country. And uh, it is the onerous duty of the Vice Chancellor and Pro Vice Chancellor. Now, Dr. Thyagarajan is taking charge. I hope we will have a very big future, a bright future for Bellur campus as well as. VIT. I wish him all the best in his future. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Your words have ignited our spirits and illuminated the path forward with clarity and inspiration. I now invite our newly appointed Pro Vice Chancellor, Dr. T. Tyagarajan, to address the gathering. Please join me in extending a warm welcome to our Pro Vice Chancellor. Most respected and honorable Chancellor, sir, very esteemed Vice President, Dr. Shankar, Dr. Shekhar, Dr. Selvam, sir, respected advisor to Chancellor Professor SPT, sir, our additional registrar, the Dean Academic, Dr. Naimullah, former Vice Chancellor and presently the faculty member of VIT, Professor Vaidehi, Madam, very esteemed faculty members of this great institute, four of my scholars come, faculty members from MIT who have come here to uh, witness this function. Very good morning to all of you. Chancellor Sir, it is very indeed a unique privilege for me. It's a rare honor for me to occupy the position of a pro Vice Chancellor VIT Chennai. Thanks for giving such a wonderful opportunity. Chancellor Aya, a visionary, vibrant leader. Vibrancy is different, visionary is different made a humble beginning with 180 students calling it as Vellur Engineering College. In 40 years of time now, this has spread not only in Vellur, in Chennai, in Andhra Pradesh, Amaravati, Madhya Pradesh, Bangalore. So that is the kind of vision Tolinoku Parvi, our esteemed Chancellor has. He's a socially conscious educationist. We, we call socially conscious researcher, the educationist here in national building, a socially conscious educationist, a pragmatic policy maker. Policy making is the easiest job, but there must be, it must be pragmatic. An administrator with impeccable professional career, whether it is in education field or in political arena. Many of you may not be knowing, he is an illustrious alumnus of Harvard Business School, Loyola College, Madras Law College, made a humble beginning and spread the wings now. VIT has around 33,000 students from 66 countries across the globe, 430 international partners. That's something amazing, Chancellor, sir. 
17 schools offering 71 UG programs and 35 PG programs in addition to PhD programs in multiple disciplines. Leave alone engineering, engineering, architecture, fashion, design, management, technology, commerce, science. The R&D ecosystem in this great campus under its proactive initiatives could deliver tangible outcomes in terms of 44,000 publications. 4,32,000 citations, 177 as the H index, highest impact factor 54, 58 faculty members of VIT have found place in 2% Stanford University, where I am the world is there. Give a standing ovation to this chancellor, visionary chancellor. Give a standing ovation. In the lag, fourth cycle, cycle after cycle, cycle after cycle, in fourth cycle, it is 3.66 out of 4.0, A plus plus grade, which will stand for seven years. Year after year, right from the inception of NIRF, VIT is going up in the ranking. Once we have the trusted vice presidents uh, as his uh, lieutenants, we have here Sankar Vishwanathan Sir. Nagachu at Tesnalo, Natsin Nalwartha and the benchmark Surit Bohara. He is also having international exposure. Friends, we have another gentleman of highest order, Dr. Sankar Vishwanathan Sir. Many of you may not be knowing. He is a university rank holder while well, he was doing his ECE from the University of Madras. An illustrious alumnus of Rochester Institute of Technology, USA, a doctoral degree not in machine learning, MSc, in addition to PhD program, 1400 PhD scholars are pursuing PhD in this campus. That's something amazing. 115 acres, 4.6 lakh square meters. 19,300 students. This is the highest impact factor. 46 is the highest impact factor. One gentleman is here. 46 is the highest impact factor. One gentleman. The H index is also interesting. 64. Balagurli is here. Maybe class. Let's see. Give me a big applause. Highest impact factor in an individual is 46. That is something amazing. H index is around 64. 81% placement. One payanu de highest salary, ambati umbar lakshurva. R&D funding 15.5 crores. Consultancy it is around 1.38 crores. That's something amazing. Something very amazing. Ambati active employees. Our job is to make use of all these things. Add some more feathers to this. My brief vision, Chancellor Sir, Vice President Sir, I had a very inimitable learning and takeaways when I met the Chancellor Sir for about 20 minutes in Bellur campus. It so happened, his thoughts, his direction, and my thoughts were coinciding. The first thing what we are planning under the direction and guidance of our esteemed Chancellor and Vice President is. We should embrace NBA. Whether we like it or not, that's the order of the day. We need to go for accreditation, embracing outcome-based education in teaching, learning, curriculum design, as well as in the evaluation. Translational research, not only socially conscious, it is not the publication, it's not the patent, it should be towards product, it should be towards translational multidisciplinary research. That will be our focus. Sustainable IRG through royalty from patents, books, technology transfer, CFR funds, alumni funds, government agency, non-government agency. This will be our third focus. And most importantly, we'll focus on perception, perception of this VATU campus across all the stakeholders. That will be the roadmap 
which is uh, spelled out by our esteemed Chancellor as well as the Vice President. Chancellor sir, Vice President sir, let me not take more time. With your direction, with your guidance, with your support, with your encouragement, with your patronage, we will take this VIT campus to the greater heights with the support of all these uh, young, energetic and enthusiastic faculty members. Henry Ford said, coming together is beginning, keeping together is progress, working together is success. Let us all work together under the dynamic leadership of our Honorable Chancellor, respected Vice Presidents, to add many more feathers to the crowning glory of this great institute. I've forgotten about the Kanchana Madam. She telephoned today morning from U.S. and wished me. I extend our, our fullest support to Dr. Kanchana Madam in absentia, the first woman Vice Chancellor of our institute. That is another visionary step taken by our Chancellor, sir. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for your present here. I want to thank the right team here for giving me an opportunity to serve as the pro Vice Chancellor of this great campus. Your words have ignited within us a renewed sense of purpose and determination. As we draw to the close of this remarkable gathering, I now invite our additional registrar, Dr. P.K. Manoharan, to propose the vote of thanks. Dignitaries on the dais and beloved members of VAT family, very good morning. Don't be afraid of my time. <laughs> I will compete within the allotted time. <coughs> Today is an important day in the history of VAT Chennai. <clears throat> a well-renowned educationist, Professor Dr. T. Tyagarajan sir has assumed the charge this morning as Pro Vice Chancellor of VAT Chennai. Honorable Chancellor's vision and leadership have brought revolutionary changes in the field of higher education and the growth of VAT institutions. To carry the legacy and the vision of Honorable Chancellor Dr. Tyagarajan Sar's captivating personality and futuristic outlook towards higher education will definitely uplift the standards of VAT institutions. As a pragmatic policy maker and personification of thorough professionalism, administrator with human touch, embodiment of modesty and simplicity, served in MIT Chennai and abroad, will take our VAT to the level of MIT USA or even more than that. Well, it is a good beginning of commencing the academic year 24-25 with its valuable guidance and rich experience. Friends, with great respect, we express our profound and heartfelt thanks to Dr. T. Tyagarajan sir for accepting the offer to take VAT to greater heights. Aluvalaga number relay. Pudiye provisi our relay. Indudam purpetu kondar relay in Ralum. Our ten panigale, Uruvara Kalatik Mumbakavi Aramiti Vitarget. Chennai Vadakum Kurita, Ayim with the Tagaval Valley, Sagari Tanakumbudi Kate to Kondarke, Nan Yurubatina Gumadin Era to Kul Anipuitu, Avodia, Paratin and Petre Subamurta Nali, Vanda Pirmahanari, Nalasi Alodi, Padavi Etir Mabar, V eighteen Parambari Etayum, Badachayum, Pudia Vieratik Kundu Silva, and Badi Nichiam. Avodia, Anai to Mirchilukum, now Manevur, Tonai Nipo, and Bade, Terivikum Bagail, Ungal, Karavoli Od, Avade, Varadeti, Varaki and Mata. Tani Vita, Varatum, Sabesa, Pirai, Kandira, Kato Mendri, Sudantira Pirai, Kato Varatana, Padina, Magatavi, Varadia. Adubaratan, Nam Vanda Pirmagana, Tan Bervayam, Voivaria, Vripalam, Katu Vadatur, Vietal Vinirvanam, V eighty Andre, Amade Vipis of Son of the Bola Andre, Ayrthi Tolarti, Empathy Nangi, Yermurukum Korevana Manavate, Indre, Yerentayrathi, Yerbati Nangi, Yempathi Yerayrathukum made Patamanavate, Andre, Veluri, Todanga Pataur, Siri, Kaluri. Palgalik Karaka Maga, we are the not in Via, we are here. Iowa Yandas Petri, Indre, Chennai, Bopal, 
அமராவதி பெங்களூரு என்று தேசம் எங்கும் சிறகை விரித்து வருகிறது ஜிஐடி கல்வி சாம்ராஜ்யத்தின் ஒரு மைல்கல் இரண்டாயிரத்தி இருபத்தி நான்கு ஆம் நாற்பது ஆண்டு நிறைவை மாணிக்க விழா ரூபி ஜூப்ளி இயர் கொண்டாடும் தருணம் இது வேந்தர் அவர்களை ஜிவி என்று அன்போடு அழைப்பார்கள் அவரது தந்தையாரின் முதல் எழுத்தான ஜி என்பதற்கு ஜீனியஸ் அதாவது அறிவு ஜீவி என்றும் பொருள் சொல்வார்கள் அது முற்றிலும் உண்மை வேந்தரது அறிவாற்றலை நினைவாற்றலை நம்மால் அளவிட முடியாது அதற்கு ஒரு எளிய எடுத்துக்காட்டு கடந்த சில மாதங்களாக ஏராளமான பணிகளுக்கு மத்தியிலும் நாடாளுமன்ற தேர்தல் நேரத்தில் மக்களிடையே விழிப்புணர்வை ஏற்படுத்தும் வகையில் தன் அரிய கட்டுரைகளால் நாடு நாளேடுகளின் நடுப்பக்கத்தை அலங்கரித்து வருகிறார் சுவையான சில தலைப்புகள் நாடாளுமன்றம் அன்றும் இன்றும் புதியதோர் உலகம் படைப்போம் சரித்திரம் படைத்த அண்ணா எல்லோருக்குமான தலைவர் எம்ஜிஆர் வரலாறு ஆகும் பதினேழாவது மக்களவை மாநில கட்சிகளின் அரசியல் முக்கியத்துவம் இப்படி பட்டியல் நீடும் இக்கட்டுரைகளின் சிறப்பு என்ன என்றால் பிறர் எழுதும் கட்டுரைகள் பெரும்பாலும் அவர்கள் படித்தது கேட்டது அறிந்தது அவ்வளவுதான் அது செகண்டரி சோர்ஸ் ஆனால் வேந்தரின் கட்டுரைகள் அனைத்தும் அவரே பேசியது அவரே கேட்டது அவரே அனுபவித்து உணர்ந்தது ஆக அனைத்தும் பிரைமரி சோர்ஸ் பிறர் வேண்டுமானால் வேந்தரின் கட்டுரைகளை மேற்கோள் காட்டலாம் ஆனால் வேந்தரின் கட்டுரைகளுக்கு மேற்கோள்களே தேவையில்லை அவர் சொல்வதுதான் மேற்கோள் வெகுஜன வேந்தர் வெகுஜன ஊடகங்களிலும் குறை வைப்பதில்லை வருகின்ற ஞாயிற்றுக்கிழமை சித்திரை ஒன்று தமிழ் புத்தாண்டு அன்றைய தினம் சன் தொலைக்காட்சியில் காலை எட்டு மணிக்கு கல்யாண மாலை நிகழ்ச்சியில் குடும்ப உறவுகள் குறித்த நம் வேந்தர் அவர்களின் சிறப்பு பேச்சு ஒலிபரப்பாக உள்ளது கேட்டு மகிழுங்கள் ஆக தன்னிகர் இல்லா வேந்தர் அவர்களின் தலைமையின் கீழ் பணியாற்றுவது நாம் செய்த பாக்கியம் என்று கூறி இருகரம் கூப்பி அவரை வணங்கி உங்களுடைய கரவொலியோடு நன்றியை தெரிவித்துக் கொள்வார் உருவத்திலும் குணத்திலும் தந்தையை போல் புதல்வர்கள் இருப்பதில் வியப்பில்லை ஆனால் செயலிலும் சிந்தனை ஓட்டத்திலும் அப்படி ஒத்திருப்பது மிகவும் அபூர்வம் அத்தகைய அபூர்வ ஒற்றுமை நம் விபி சார்பிலிடம் உள்ளது வேந்தர் அவர்கள் பாதையே இல்லாத அடர்ந்த காட்டில் பாதை அமைத்தார் என்றால் அந்த பாதையை செப்பனிட்டு விரிவாக்கி ராஜபாட்டையாக மாற்றியதில் நம் பிபி சார்களுக்கு பெரும்பங்கு உண்டு வேந்தர் விதையாக தருவதை விருட்சமாக காட்டும் வல்லமை கொண்ட துணை தலைவர்களை வணங்கி நம்மை உற்சாகப்படுத்தி ஊக்கமளித்து வழி நடத்தும் அவர்களுக்கு உங்கள் கரவொலியோடு நன்றியை முடித்தாக்கும் நிறைவாக உடல் அளவில் அமெரிக்காவில் இருந்தாலும் மனதளவில் விஐடியில் இருக்கும் துணை வேந்தர் மேடம் அவர்களுக்கும் தன் உடல் நலமின்மையையும் பொருட்படுத்தாது தன் உடல் நலமின்மையையும் பொருட்படுத்தாது வரவேற்பில் கலந்து கொண்டிருக்கும் மதிப்பிற்குரிய ஆலோசகர் ஐயா அவர்களுக்கும் நன்றியை உரித்தாக்குவோம் ஃபைனலி ஐ தேங்க் டீன் அகடமிக்ஸ் அட்வைசர் மேடம் அட்வைசர் அம்மையார் deans directors hods and staff members research scholars from mit for making this welcoming function for the new pro vice chancellor as a pleasant beginning of the forthcoming ruby jubilee academic year 24 25 thank you one and all for passing thank you thank you everyone please join us for the high tea which is being served outside the auditorium